this is Ollie. Welcome back to In Korea. I hope you are all safe and well wherever you are. Let me briefly remind you that You in Korea is a channel for those who love Korea, who want to learn more about this country. Here I'm trying to share with you guys the stories of my life in Korea for the past 10 years, give you some information about the country and maybe some facts that are not really well known worldwide. If you enjoy watching our videos, please subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comment section. Time flies so fast. This year is almost over. Looking back at this year, I think a lot of things happened, right? And every year at this time, we sort of wrap up the going year looking back at it. So today we decided to talk about some hot issues, hot issues of 2022 on the Korean Peninsula. We are going to look at them one by one, so stay tuned. Among the hot topics of 2022 on the Korean Peninsula is of course the advancement of Korean Wave or Hallyu that has been captivating the world for more than 10 years. Hallyu is not just K-pop, it's also K-culture, such as K-drama, K-movies, and so on. The first thing that you will probably think about this year is the return of BTS with their concerts. They proved once again that they are truly world stars with their amazing and spectacular performance. There was of course another big topic around BTS in 2022 and it's of course their military enlistment. Not just us, but the whole world talked about their military enlistment through the whole year. It was one of the hottest issues. Why they need to go to the army, what can happen to the group. You of course know why every K-pop idol in Korea, even BTS, have to go to the army. Of course, it's because of North Korea. North Korea is still banned on armed provocations such as nuclear development and missile launches. That's why all members of BTS have to go to the military. Jean, the eldest member, has already enlisted. Another hot topic on the Korean Peninsula is Squid Game. Of course, this is the work that has once again proved the greatness of K-drama in the world. Squid Game has set a new milestone in the 74-year history of the Emmys by winning six awards in 2022. The Emmy Award, as you know, is the Academy Award for the TV broadcasting. After the movie Parasite won four Academy Awards, it is evaluated that the power of K-content has been reaffirmed by Squid Game this time. Not as much as Squid Game, but there was another work that got lots of attention and became a hot issue worldwide. It's an animation called Remember Me, The True North. We talked about it in our videos. It's an animated movie that talks about prison camps, political prison camps in North Korea. The director learned about the existence of those prison camps after he read a book written by North Korean defectors. He got the idea to create a movie about it to let the whole world know about the tragedy of it all. Di director Shimizu Eiji Han met with about 40 North Korean defectors in person and collected vivid testimony. He made this film after 10 years of preparation. Until now, most of the videos dealing with the tragedy of North Korea have been documentaries. But this movie is an animation. So it drew lots of attention for this new genre's attempt and it's based on a real story, of course. It received rave reviews from all over the world. If you're curious about the tragedy of North Korea, make sure you watch this animation. North Korea's continued provocations were of course among the hot issues on Korean Peninsula in 2022. As we mentioned many times, 2022 was the year when North Korea continued to raise the level of their provocations. The growing crisis on the Korean Peninsula threatened the security of South Korea and the whole world. 
There were so many various provocations from North Korea that it's even hard to describe them all. You know this kind of provocations costs a lot of money, right? For example, on November 2nd alone, North Korea spent around $70 million to launch their missiles. It means that North Koreans lost all their food prices in a day. Considering that North Koreans are starving due to food shortages and that they are living in a very miserable conditions due to huge shortage of medicine and daily necessities, the Kim Jong-un's regime should stop their nuclear development and implement policies for the survival of its people. We are looking at hot issues on the Korean Peninsula in 2022. There is also someone who has become a hot topic worldwide. I am talking about Kim Joo-e, a possible daughter of Kim Jong-un. Kim Joo-e accompanied Kim Jong-un when North Korea test-fired a new intercontinental ballistic missile on November 18th. According to Google Trends, the number one search word related to North Korea at that time was Kim Jong-un's daughter. As you all know, North Korea is a three-generation hereditary dictatorship. Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un have been dictators for decades, for three generations. In addition, since Kim Joo-e appeared, some even observed that he had already considered the fourth succession. Whatever the real intention was, it was an issue that made me think again about what can be done for the poor North Koreans. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Today we talked about the hot issues on the Korean Peninsula in 2022. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I also hope that next year we will continue hearing good news from the Korean wave. And of course, I am hoping and praying for the good news from North Korea. Kim Jong-un, I hope you come to your senses and stop wasting your money on nuclear development and start treating your people better. I will see you guys soon when I bring more topics for discussion. Until then, please stay with us, subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up and leave your feedback and requests in the comment section. I'll see you next time and until then, annyeong!